<laughs> Hello, welcome back to Lloyd and JD's Two Minute Topics. I'm Lloyd. I'm JD. I'm Jerry. Jerry's in the Two Minute Topics this week. He is. Yeah, he's he's joined in. Pokemon Go today, which is one of Jerry's, Jerry's favorite. favorite topics. Jerry's a huge Pokemon Goer. I think he's like, what, level 25? Guy's yeah. crazy about it. Got high level Got a couple Vaporium. legendaries. He's killing it. Yeah. You guys so. are brainwashed into playing it. <laughs> so I grew up with Pokemon, so I think I have, uh, as a kid, I played with the cards. So I guess playing yeah. the game brought back a little child. And, and in all reality you were geocaching in, in what you one of your last episodes yes, there I which was, is yes. like old man's pokemon go which pretty close to the same well, thing I just suppose, no vr yeah. And, <laughs> yeah so for me i i guess i got childhood memories from having yeah. the cards so which is it's way better than the cards because cards did nothing you just kind of looked at it as yeah. a kid but so anyways ebay has become a haven for people selling their pokemon go accounts people have been selling them for thousands of dollars professional poke trainers they call yeah. themselves and they will rank up an account they won't spend any of the stardust they won't spend any of the candies they catch multiple pokemon they get to level 30 and then they sell you yeah the account so yeah there's people are spending thousands of dollars on this stuff it's like world of warcraft when that pay, came out i wouldn't pay thousands for it but yeah. if you didn't want to play the game you were sending it for 20 bucks and you didn't want to do all the walking and all the yeah. bullshit then why not but well there's people in town that you can pay to drive around and collect them for you yeah there's that well and i actually had a, an idea for a job, and I think someone's already doing it. And I was, me and Jolie were talking about it the other day, and it was a tour guide where you'd have a bus and you would set up so you know you can find out where rare Pokemon are in the city. You, you know, advertise you take them to one rare location, you take them to 10 Poke Stops and maybe like 10 gyms, and that's the day. And I guess someone's already doing it, but they did it after I had the idea. So, fuck you, buddy, because that was yeah. all mine. Well, but- I had an idea for a van with Pokemon inside, oh, yeah. but, you know, that was a little bit with of a candy. different thing. <laughs> yeah, jelly babies. See, the thing is, I just can't grasp it because I grew up in the generation that missed the whole Pokemon thing. Yeah. So, when Which I is- see, like, like, even in my area, I see people that are walking around with their phones that I just can't understand in a sense, there's been lots of bad behind it and there's lots of good, right? Like, obviously, my generation, you know, if you're in your 20s and, you know, from, tw- what, 21 to, like, 20 fucking 7, 28, you're going to know about Pokemon. You probably grew up with Pokemon. You had the cards. Um, so, it was a big part of your childhood. So, you're probably going to play the fucking game. I played the game on Nintendo 64. You've been waiting for a new one on Nintendo ever since anyway, and it happened to be an app on the phone. Yeah. So, it's like, fuck it. I'm going to play it. I hated the conspiracy theory behind it or the watching, the bullshit. Obviously, that was not a part that I enjoyed about it. The fact that I'm watched anyway pisses me off. But I get I get the game. I get why some people think it's good. And I think it's good for kids. Like you said, it's good for their mental health of kids that are sheltered in the basements all day playing video games on Xbox. Now they have to walk around and play this game. They have to interact with other humans in a social environment. Okay. See, that I get, but... The biggest thing that I argue with is that on social media, I got tons of friends that do it too. They said, you know, this Pokemon Go is so good. We are getting out. We've normally never gone out. And I'm like, it shouldn't take you a game to get out. It shouldn't. But but that's the world we live in today where kind of like computers have taken over to the sense where you are stable in one position and usually that's in your house. Well, I feel like it is good. Like I've talked to JD about before. Your phone dies pretty fucking quick playing this game. So uh, unless you're really hardcore and you've got a battery pack, which I, you see a lot, but they, they're, they're few. They're, it's far few. Like if yeah. you go to Eau Claire where it's buzzing, you will see like, what, 15 people with chargers and the rest are just, they're on their phones. Yeah. Yeah. So eventually your phone's going to die and you're in a lovely park with flowers. Me and my girlfriend went down there. We did play the game, but we, t- we spent about two hours walking around looking at the flowers, looking at all these different flowers. Um, it was great. We, you know, we saw a squirrel do some fucked up shit. It was a cool day. So in that sense, yeah, it's getting you out of the house and you are just playing a game on your phone, but eventually you put your phone down. And like we've said, you're in a beautiful park. Well, I think we're all guilty of being out to a pub or something. And instead of talking to somebody across the table, you your phone. you'll just, yeah. you'll, I hate that. I have, no, but you'll, I've actually been guilty of texting somebody that sat across from me. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh God. <laughs> so, and I think, and that's what I've said to JD too. I've been walking texting and someone's been like fucking faggot on pokemon go and it's like not everyone's playing it all the time yeah. sometimes i am walking and texting like that was a thing before pokemon go i did used to watch youtube videos walking down the road believe it or yeah. not like i do that stuff so not everyone's playing so you're gonna sell your account fuck no no Why not? you can make thousands i don't want to make you can thousands. buy weed i'm gonna sell my pokemon cards though yeah so and i do have a lot of pokemon cards so if anyone does watch these pokemon go episodes and are interested in really like good Pokemon cards. I have like shiny Charles or stuff. I will be selling those eventually and I will have the ads go into a, uh, obviously worth money. Oh yeah. yeah. And I, and I will, really? 
and they're all in plastic slips. I did take care of my stuff. I was kind of a nerdy kid. So like this stuff will be linked to our page eventually when yeah. I do have them up on eBay if I am selling them that way or if they're in uh, you know, uh, an auction or something like that. But my mum is sending them over. So oh, I've asked them to nice. be sent over. So hopefully we're getting rid of those soon. A little bit extra money for the baby and for my new life. Awesome. New life? When it's baby. over? <laughs> baby, <laughs> Funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Lloyd. I'm JD. I'm Jerry. Peace. See ya. Yeah.